it snowed just a little bit. It's always fun to wake up to the world looking a little bit frosted. Ooh, I'm gonna get some cookies. Okay, pick one. You want these? Okay. All in all, I think a pretty good little organizing session. <laughs> I just have like the coolest glassware. It's just doing a roll. What's something you wish you'd figured out sooner? I've really been working on this for like most of my 20s, to be honest. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It's like 8, 8, 15 almost. It snowed just a little bit. I just got a little bit of a dusting. Um, not too much. Ultimately, it's probably going to blow away or probably going to melt, but it's just like lightly, lightly snowing right now, which is really kind of wonderful. It's always fun to wake up to the world looking a little bit frosted. We are taking Windsor to the vet this morning. A couple days ago, we noticed a bump on his back. We don't know what happened. Like, I'm not gonna share speculations right now because I've been living in speculations for days, so I'll update you when we know more. He hasn't seemed any different. Like, his demeanor is the same, his energy is the same, he's not moving differently, he doesn't seem like he's in pain, so it's really confusing. back from the vet, something that we had not considered in the slightest is that Windsor could potentially be having some type of response to vaccinations. He did have a round of vaccines almost a month ago, which is still in the window of time where it could cause a reaction. So it's not a big reaction because we noticed this on Thanksgiving. So it's like 20, yeah, like 20 days later. I had to step away from editing just for a bit. Like I needed, my brain needed a break. I'm making really good progress though. Actually, I'm just gonna set you down right here. Um, so a lot of the editing for today is completed. I'm really just making the final pass and doing like sound adjustments. I think that I've maybe discovered that I don't have to limit videos to less than 15 minutes. I think I thought that that was a requirement for like smaller channels, but I think it's just a requirement until you verify your channel, which I've done. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a tea. Ooh, I'm gonna get some cookies. After Thanksgiving, Thomas came back with some Vortman's cookies, but they're the oatmeal ones and they're delicious. Like it really makes me want to make some like spiced oatmeal cookies. So I think that I might do that this week, but I'm not super sure. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I just want to try and make some because I think once I find a recipe that I really like, I'm unstoppable. Like I can make those cookies myself and they'll be so delicious. I'm going to go get some cookies and tea and watch Zoe's first vlogmas. Then I'm probably just going to spend maybe like another hour potentially putting the finishing touches on vlogmas day one, then I think I can schedule it to post. So I'm trying to maybe post them a little bit earlier in the day because 6 p.m. really conflicts with so many things in like my life. I do think that the time is just going to vary throughout December. I think it's more important for me to be kind to me because this is a creative thing that I'm excited to do and I don't want to make it anything other than that. Cookies, tea, vlogmas day one, then I'm going to get back to editing. did some like homemade garlic toast because we didn't have any garlic bread and we've got some meatballs here oh my gosh <laughs> he's like you better not are you just hoping for maybe some spaghetti do you want some spaghetti he's like yeah i don't know that this is so saucy take some meatballs Okay, there you go. <laughs> 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 
with you and I had a little head tilt. <laughs> Ding -ding. Are you hoping for some pasta? I'll give you a little with the cheese, how's that? Nice. Okay, Winter's gonna pick out his chew, and I've been letting him pick like which bag he wants. He has like this mint kind, and then these that are made like sweet potatoes. So, which one do you want? Okay, pick one. You want these? Okay. And they smell so good. Take it. Good boy. Lego advent calendar now. I'm just looking for number two. Um, looks like a little palm tree. So we've opened days one and two. It's just cute. I'm excited to see what else we uncover from this whole box. I'm sure it's just like a bunch of different characters with like little bits and pieces, but I think it'll be super cute. I think that my brain is moving a lot slower today than yesterday because I used a lot of energy yesterday and today uh, with editing. So I'm going through my little advent calendar collection um, I'm going to choose days one and two from my puzzle advent calendar. We've got day one here and then day two down here. It's like a little bowl of peppermints. And then day two is maybe like a snowflake cookie situation. Yeah, kind of like a plate of cookies, I think. I am going to do these little puzzles. It's so fun. And honestly, you can reuse this year to year because it's just themed puzzles, you know? Like you're not really gonna remember how each one goes together. Cause like I bought this last year and I, I didn't complete it. Like I did a few days worth, but the bags are resealable. So it really is reusable for as long as you want it to be. Or it's like totally re-giftable, honestly. Just when you're done. I mean, it's similar to like gifting puzzles that you've already completed. It's not super different like gifting um, a puzzle advent calendar, especially if all the pieces are there and like the bags are resealable. So I am going to do a couple of little puzzles and just kind of like try and relax my mind. Ta-da! Still in great condition. Do -do -do. In this one we have some sugar cookies, a little Santa cookie, a ginger lady, uh, and a couple of snowflakes. It is very helpful to have this little picture showing us what it's going to be though.
This is what we are left with. It's just doing a roll. All in all, I think a pretty good little organizing session, which is just great because there's going to be a little bit more like furniture shuffling around happening in here. Sometimes energy isn't always where we want it to be. So I did what I could sitting and organizing through bins. I've been wanting to do this particular um, organization task for like, I mean, well, months. We got married in September, so. I just have like the coolest glassware. Some of it is stuff that I found and a lot of it is stuff that I sourced from one of my friends after she got married. So I'm just really excited to use some of it to decorate because I have some beautiful like green vases. What's something you wish you'd figured out sooner? Um, I wish in life that I figured out how to express my inner feelings and my inner thoughts. In a literary sense, I was able to analytically share my inner thoughts, but I wasn't always able to link my feelings and emotions with like, opinions or attachments to people or places or things, at least not in a way that I really felt captured what I was trying to express. I wish I could have figured that out sooner in life, but I also think that it is very fitting that that would happen in sort of my like renaissance in my 20s. I think I have a pretty solid grasp of being able to express those those things. I've uh, really been working on this for like most of my 20s to be honest. Maybe starting at like 22 for the last like five or six years just like really focusing on self-expression putting like thoughts and feelings to words. That's something I wish I knew sooner and I also feel incredibly lucky to be able to recognize it for how valuable it is to be able to do that now. What is something that you wish you knew how to do sooner or something that you're really really thankful that you know how to do now? I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.